So I used to be a television news anchor who couldn't say that on television. Oops, that either. So I had a great idea. I'll quit my job and I'll tour the country as a stand-up comedian. Well, guess what? The world shut down and it seems like everybody went crazy. So instead, I wrote a couple of books and I just kept my thoughts to myself. Until now, it's Friday's Funny Fast Five at Five because I'm sure you may be fresh out of F's to give. Let's get into it. Welcome to the first episode of Friday's Funny Fast Five at Five. Yes, it originally was going to be a Funny Fast 15, but I know your attention span ain't that long. My name either. Let's go. Let's get into some fast headlines. All right, Kelly Price went missing, but then she wasn't missing, but she died, but she's alive. It's a crazy story. All of us have lots of family members we don't talk to. <clears throat> no judgments here. I feel attacked. But what was really going on? Kelly's sister, her daughter reported her missing. They didn't even know she had gotten married. Then it got even crazier because, of course, Kelly Price has lots of famous friends in the industry. So they started using their platforms. Let's find Kelly. And then Kelly's attorney came out and says, Kelly's not missing. And we said, girl, we don't know you like that. We need to talk to Kelly. And her famous friend says, "Mm mm-mm, we need to talk to Kelly. Well, by the time Kelly came out, the famous friends start beefing with each other. Why did you go out there and say that Kelly wasn't missing? Well, why? I know Kelly. I knew Kelly longer than you. I'm not going to say who I'm talking about because I ain't trying to fight nobody. And then it just got weird because it was he said, she said, who said, and we still don't really know what's going on with Kelly Price. But the way she just kind of glossed over that, I had died, but then I didn't. It was like, wait, girl, let's go back to that part. Y'all, COVID ain't no joke. I know a lot of people who are suffering from long-haul COVID conditions, and you do need your rest. So if she got a janky family, hey, maybe she's hiding a tunnel just to get better. We will pray for you, Kelly, and we're going to mind our business. And Lizzo. Lizzo gave a TED Talk on twerking. Okay, girl. I guess. Okay, and why did Ellen Pompeo feel like she needed to tell us that she had cussed at Denzel Washington, first of all? <laughs> and the, you, girl. <laughs> and don't need to be told. And then Denzel, and what Denzel say? And then he said, oh, you, mm-mm. What? Girl. Okay, Britney Spears has been released from her father's control and her conservatorship. I'm happy for Britney. Free Britney. Free. I don't care that much. But what was interesting is as soon as the news came out that Britney's father had been removed as the head of her conservatorship, old girl went right on Instagram and posted some naked pictures. Naked. Naked pictures. Britney. Which we, we rooting for you, girl. Like, don't, don't do that. Once the court say you cool, then don't do that. Maybe like wait a few minutes till the ink dries on the paperwork and say you can drive your own car and write your own checks. What be wrong with people? All right, Kelly found me. Finally, that's all I have to say about that. Now for today's rabbit hole. A rabbit hole is when I find out a little bit of something, but then I need to know more. Usually if I'm watching TV, watching a movie, skimming headlines, or when I need to find out what happened to your relationship since you stopped posting pictures on social media, then I got to go back and go through all the pictures and figure out the demise. Ain't none of my business. But y'all, this is a good one. And I've been talking about this one before. The state of California has given back the rights to Bruce's Beach to the family. If you haven't heard of Bruce's Beach, it was an area on the coast in California where founded by Willa and Charles Bruce. Uh, over 100 years ago, the United States of America uh, exercised eminent domain. That's basically where the government can come in and say, yeah, I know that's yours, but it's ours now. And what was really crazy is this happened a whole lot to a whole lot of black folks back in the day. So now California has signed transfer those rights from the county back to the rightful owner, the Bruce family. And hopefully it will set the stage for a whole lot of folks to get their land back. You may not realize Lake Lanier in Georgia, eminent domain, used to be a black village. Seneca Village, you ever heard of it? Well, maybe you've heard of Central Park. Yeah, they took Seneca Village from the black folks and they built Central Park. So that's today's rabbit hole. Congratulations to the Bruce family. And hopefully somebody way, way down my line of ancestry has something. Give it back. I want it. It's mine. 
Okay, today's Black Folk Spotlight is my glasses from You Fancy Opticals. Beautiful frames. You can also send your prescriptions. This is how you find them right here. Black owned, woman owned, and I'm feeling adorable. So make sure you shout them out. That's this week's Friday's Funny Fast 5 at 5. We'll see you next week. In the meantime, make sure you follow me on all social media. Like and share. Peace and grits, y'all.